All right, and welcome back to the next episode of Mr. Felstrom's Precalc Cast. Today's episode is looking at benchmark 4.2, graphing the sine and cosine functions. Uh, you may remember from our previous episode, we looked at uh, finding the phase shift and uh, amplitude and period. So we're going to apply that now and actually uh, graph this uh, freehand. So the first thing I'm going to do is go through and find the amplitude, which is uh, 3. I'll find the period, and the period is going to be 2 pi divided by b, and in this case b is 2, so that makes the period pi. Horizontal shift is what makes the parentheses 0, so my parentheses x minus pi over 2, well, it's going to make that 0, I'll add pi over 2, so I get x equals pi over 2, that means I'm going to shift pi over 2 units, and the uh, vertical shift is negative 1. So I'll put negative 1, that means we're going to move down 1. All right, now with those three uh, uh, four points, and uh, uh, here's my normal cosine function, where it starts at 1, goes down to negative 1 at pi, and then proceeds back up to uh, positive 1 at 2 pi. That's one full period. So I'm going to use that in combination with these other um, transformations to, to graph this. Now you might have noticed that there are four uh, crucial points here. we got one, two, three, four, the, uh, the zeros, and then we have the minimum and a maximum. So I'm going to use those to, actual, um, to actually label my axis. Uh, every four points I'll, I'll make a period. So one, two, three, four is a period. And 1, 2, 3, 4 is 2 pi. Now I'll go ahead and uh, this would be pi over 2, cut that in half, and halfway here would be 3 pi Oops, over 2. Now um, my axis, my or y axis, um, normally goes up to 1. This time the amplitude is 3, so it's going to be stretched up to 3 and down to negative 3. So I'm going to need to kind of adjust my axes accordingly. So I'll um, I'll just go by ones here, and this will be a positive two and a negative two. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, first thing is uh, to uh, get a starting point. Uh, normal cosine starts on the uh, y-axis when x is zero at one. So I normally would start right here. However, my amplitude is three, so that means it's being stretched up to three. So now I, I am here, but then I have a shifting going on. So this is where the point would start um, with with uh, an amplitude of 3 and now a horizontal shift and vertical shift uh, over to pi over 2 which would be right here and down 1 to here. So this is my uh, starting point which is that point right there. Okay, um, The uh, minimum uh, now is going to be halfway through there. So one full period would be to here. So I know I need to end up at this point also. Halfway in between there is where the minimum is. So here's pi. Now that minimum is going would be 3, but then the vertical shift, uh, excuse me, negative 3, but then the vertical shift of 1 would make it down 1 to here. And now I can just kind of gently connect them with a smooth flowing curve to here and there is one full period. Now I can't just start and stop in the middle so I'll, I'll continue on. We'll come down and about right here and then I'll just go backwards to get uh, to get the other points. And all right, there. that one didn't come out too nice, but but uh, you can kind of see the uh, picture there. And there we have it. There's our graph. We can use a, a graphing utility to check that. And uh, there you go. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.